Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome as we gather again for this time of prayer. And we gather today on the feast day of the Annunciation of the Lord. The angel Gabriel came to Mary, and with the message that she would be the mother of God's only son. And we know Mary, again, would question that. She was troubled. She was afraid. But she would say yes. And so I want to read that gospel reading to you now as we take time to reflect with our Blessed Mother. From Luke chapter 1, verses 26 to 38. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and as of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have had no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. May we hear those words spoken to each and every one of us, that we too are full of grace, that the Lord is with us, and we need not be afraid, and that Mary continue to intercede and pray with us on this feast day and throughout this year. As we deal with the coronavirus and other issues in our lives, we trust our Blessed Mother to pray with us, to draw us closer to her son Jesus in this time. And so please join in praying with me. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. God's peace and blessings.